Oh, okay, all right, yeah. I must say a pleasant good evening. We're here at um, Lother Hill Sports Park, the famous night cricket. It's um, Guyana who is going up against Royal Eleven. Just about um, 4.30 as planned, we start on time. Royal Eleven had won the toss and decide to bat, take first strike. That's the second ball of the first over and both are wide. Again, I must say a pleasant good evening to each and everyone, wherever you are in the world today, my friends. Hope you're smiling. Very important. Hope you're having fun. Hope you're feeling good. I'm going to wish you all the best, just like myself. So it's cricket, lovely cricket. From the southern end, it's um, Rajid, who is... Um, Bowling the first over, he's bowling to Shanda Francis. Open the inning with um, Antonio Scott. A beautiful day for cricket as usual here at um, the Lauder Hill Sports Park in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I must say, USFA. So at the moment, um, Rajid is having a little problem. He's um, bowling wides. So decide that one was also on the leg, but luckily for him, it um, It comes off, it seems like the thigh pad. Still trying to find his line. issue with the keeper trying to get his helmet together that's a good ball that was pretty much in the black hole And we were able to just drop the bat and it, it um, trickles out on the on the offside. It picks up a single. Doing just great. How you doing? Long time no see. In the background, as you can hear, Mr. Khan decide to take a visit. I know he's here not only because of night cricket but also because his son Adam Khan is playing tonight. I thought he would be playing for Jamaica, Mr. Khan. Uh, <laughs> somehow Roger talked him out of that. And that one was hit over covers the first six of the inning by Scott. Yeah, I think I would just throw that in just to say something, so... <laughs> it's, uh... Jamaica recruit people in the last 
While we're still trying to get the score car, scoreboard together, it should be about six and four, ten. It should be twelve without loss. They're so still in the first over. That was a good ball. Trickles out to. Third man that picks up a single. Score moves to 13. 13 for no loss. That one was hit hard down to a mid wicket. It should reach the fence in just a few seconds. That's a four there from Shonda Francis. He moves on to, to five. That one should run away. In the third man area for another four, score moves to It'll be twenty one. I'm just trying to sum up the score. The scoreboard is not um all together as yet. That one was hit just over our head and it's going, it's going all the way. And that I think went in the water, in the canal, for a huge six by Scott. That was hit hard to the fence by Scott for four. One bounce in the fence for four. And he could be out, it's coming over here. And it hit the fence for six. I thought I was able to get a catch there by, but it um, just went over the field but short of the cameraman that was a good comeback there by the bowler uh, what's the name of the bowler Jonathan. oh Jonathan oh that's Jonathan so it's um Jonathan who is um bowling the second over Sit down. 
That was a good ball he played in the covers. There's a fielder there. They picked up a single. one was hit hard and high it's going it's going it's going right over my head and for another six in the over and this time is um Shanda Francis
the mic back on and um, can you hear me now? Um, testing, testing, one, two, I'm coming over, the mic is good. And um, are you also um, for the on the score sheet. Okay, and the score sheet is up. Okay. All right, let me let me see if I can find it. He's over here, right? Yeah, he's sitting over there. Okay, 99, match center. Okay, 103 without, for no wicket. Okay. All right. I'm good, yeah. So while I return for um, live audio, Royal 11 is um, just running away with the score. You got um, Scott who is, who is in 73 from 23 with um, 10 sixes and two fours. Francis on 23 from 10 with two fours and two sixes. Royal 11, 103 for no loss. They are in the sixth over. They're up against Guyana. It's a young team from it's a young team playing for Guyana that um, could be a run out, but um, he missed. Score moves to 104. 104 for no loss. For a minute, for a minute ago, it's like I was a little scared because ball was flying all over the place. While well, I'm a little behind the screen, but um, if you are not paying attention for those balls, um, you're just hoping that it wasn't coming your way. So we got um, Alam who is um, just completed his first over for six runs. That it's um, it's a good change. After six over, the score is uh, 105 for a no wicket. Riyad Mohammed had just bowled one over for 25 runs. Scott O is, um, is on, um, I would say, some kind of a form. He's playing in the in a, the T20 league. That um, that one, he could be out. Maybe one. Oh yes, he's out. All is gold. <laughs> that was a good catch there by Riyad Mohammed. I thought he was going to run past it, but um, eventually we were able to reach up and um, just pluck it out of the air. But as they, as someone had just said that um, old is gold, and that's for real. There was a young kid out here before, and um, he had missed a couple, couple balls, couple balls, and it went for six. But we had decided that they would um, switch position, and. Um, he came up with um, the wicket of um, Francis. So Francis went out for 24 from 11. Two fours and two sixes. Scott is still there on 74.
So the score is now 105 for one. The bowler is um, is S Khan. Bowling is um, second over. One for fourteen. Sporting the number in his back of fifty-five. That one was played in the cover. It should be just a single. Camper through for a quick single. Score moves to 108. That should go all the way for four. Down to backward square leg. Scott was up on one, one leg and just um, turns it. One bounce in the fence for four. Seven balls. That's another six there by, by Scott. He should be in his um, 90s. Let's wait and see from the scorecard. He's on 91. While the score moves to 125 for one there in the eight over. 
91 from 30 balls. The bowler is um, Alam. That one was played in the covers and um, they picks up an easy single. Score moves to 125, 126 for one. Scott is on 92 and um, Simpson on um, three. That was played in the covers, but was um, fielded by Samir. So at the end of the eight over, the score is um, 126 for one. Royal 11, who took first strike after winning the toss up against um, Guyana. Alam had now bowled two overs for 20 runs. Khan, two over for 21 runs, one wicket. 126 for one. So it will be some Ship touch who is um, now bowling. I think that's his second spell. 126 for one. And that one was hit hard. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's gone. And that's another six there for Scotty. Moves on to 98. I think for a second he. He was thinking that um, the man on the cow corner boundary would take that catch, but luckily for him, it just went a couple more yards over his head. And that one goes much further. And that's another six there by Scott, and that's his 100. That's a massive hundred here for for Scott, the fastest hundred on this um on this field. One thirty-eight for one. Scott moves on to a hundred and five from thirty-five balls. Three fours and fourteen sixes. That should go all the way. One bounce in the fence here by Simpson. He just um, hit it over covers. That's the end of the ninth over. The score moves to 143 for one.
So while there's a new bowler, I'll just wait to get his name. He could come up here. He could come here. And that's another six here by Scott. And someone can please tell me why is he hitting that far? He's hitting it way out the ground. Pandana. 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 So now they reach the 150 mark. A swing and a miss there by Simpson. Scott is now 112 of 38 balls. Fifteen massive sixes. One fifty four for one there in the in the tenth over. Whoa. And he bowled him. That was a slower ball. And the young man's strike. What a ball in there. Just about on the on the batting crease and the batsman played just played over it. So World 11 had lost their second wicket. World 11, 150 for 2. 150 in 9.4. And the batsman who is, um, is um, Trooper Gale. Brian Trooper Gale, the captain, had just joined. Scott, who is um, on the 104. Right here on the T10 tomorrow all day. It's cricket, lovely cricket right here at the park. Call a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend and bring your family because we are at the park tomorrow all day. The T10 finals, quarter finals, semi finals. Everything is going to be played tomorrow right here. He was surprised that he had missed that ball, but it, um, it beats the keeper and run down to the fence, it picks up a single. So at the end of the 10th over, and I could say at the end of the 10th over, I'm feeling much, much more comfortable because they'll be changing from the southern end to the northern end. So now they'll be hitting towards um, Oakland Park Boulevard. One fifty-one for two. World eleven. So the new bowler is, um, well, Sandaraj. Well, he's not a new bowler. He already bowled two overs for 31 runs.
That one was played in the covers, yes man. There's a man there and he do some good fielding there that picks up two. Trooper Gale is on the scoreboard with a couple. That one he just gently played it in the covers, fielded, picks up a single. Wow, I gotta say wow, that one went all the way to University Boulevard. And I can see them calling Uber to go and get that ball. Scott moves on to 118. And he could create history here tonight by eating a double century. A swing and a miss. That should be a buy. Signal by the umpire. Score moves to 1, 6 to 1, 4 2, roll 11. That was played square of the wicket there by Trooper Gale. It was um, just fumbled just a little, and he picked up a single. He moves on to a three. Outside the half stump, Scott let it go by at the end of the 11th over. The score is 161, 162. 162 for two. World 11. They won the toss and decide to take first strike. Francis had been out and um, Simpson had been out. Trooper Gale is there with, um, with Scott. Scott who is on 118. 16 sixes. Three fours. I think Scott decided that if I hit six, then I don't have to do a lot of running. I think if he saved some of that energy from hitting it so far, he would hit twice as much. That's another single there for Trooper Gale. Moves on to five. On the score to 163. It seems like, um, yes, it's went all the way over for another six. I've seen Riyad Mohammed was just um, run around, hold his, his head up. So the batsman had stopped for a minute and then he realized that, um, oh, it's okay, he went all the way for six. And that's another massive six, way out the ground. So the umpire had signaled a no ball, so it's a free hit.
I wonder if um, did the umpire signal the free hit? Because Scott plays that very gently down to Langhorn, it was fielded by Riyad. He got just a single. He moves on to This could be the highest score in a T20 game here at um, Sports Park. A swing and a miss there by, by Scott. Could it be that he's getting a little tired? One seventy eight four two. And he could be out. Yes, he's out caught. What is that? Uh, was that a. Uh, I think that was uh, a no ball. But the man who is on the long on boundary don't usually put those down. Another single there for Scott. Moves on to 131. Yes, that Scott scores. 131. 45 balls, 3 fours, 18 sixes, red 11, 181 for, for 182 for 2 after 12. Brian Gale and 6 from 7. Paidano had bowled um, 2 overs for 25 runs with 1 wicket. So at the end of the 12th over, 182 for two, roll 11. That should be a buy. I think um, Scott need to just try to get some single to get back his um, rhythm together. I think he's um, a little tired. So he got to give um, Gail the strike so he can get another and just get a breather. That was played square of the wicket. There's a man there. He picks up a single. That one was hit down to mid-wicket. I should say over mid-wicket for another massive six. So that's 19 sixes for, for Scott. Could this be 20? He could be out. Yes, he's out caught by Riyad. So 132, 138 by Scott from 48 balls, three fours and 19 sixes. Run 11, 190 for three. They are in the 13th over. So Connor picked up his um, his second wicket. Yeah. 
The new batsman to the crease. One ninety for three. Rule eleven. Won the toss and decide to take first strike. But I must also remind you wherever you are, my friends. Call a friend. Let him know that we're here at um, Sports Park in Ladder Hill. The biggest city for Lauderdale, South Florida. The new batsman is um, Porter. So at the end of the 13th over, the score is 190 for 3, roll 11. Yeah, call a friend, tell a friend, tell him to come on over at um, Sports Park, Night Cricket. Live and kicking. Well, I must say one up to Paul Mowat, along with um, David Maitland. I've been things going on over on the far side. Uh, there they are over there. Doing the scoring and um, also, how could I forget Trini Ross, who provides the music. So the bowler is um, Alam. His um, bowling is um, third over. Got Galen Porter. He's at the crease at the moment. That one was um, played through third slip area and it ran the way to the fence for four. So Brian Gale moves on to 12. My mistake, that's um, as Porter. Porter moves on to six. And the score to 197, 197 for three. So while it's a change in the field, you got a man at third man on the on the fence. And that one was played to the backward point area to the fence for four. You got a fielder, but he was uh, just a little square of the wicket. And he played it through the the man at square and the third man that's on the fence. You get a man who's doing the sweeping on the offside. You get a long off, a man in the covers. You got a long on, you got a mid wicket, you got a man on a cow corner. And there's a man at um, square of the wicket, a square leg by the umpire. That one was hit in the covers. There's a man there, he dives and he stopped a certain 
four. They were able to pick up two. Score moves on to 103 for three, Royal 11. Run 11, 203-43. Brian Gale on 8, Porter and on 12. Connor just bowled um, 3 overs, 28 runs, 2 wickets. Alam, 3 overs, 33 runs, no wicket. Uh, it will be kind to bowl is... Um, Fourth and last over. And that one was it. He could be out. There's a man there. The wrong man is Riyad. And he takes a comfortable catch down there at um, Long On. So Brian Gale had been out for eight. World 11 had lost their fourth wicket for 203. While they're in the while they're in the fifteenth over. The new batsman is um got the wrong guy out. So that's the fall of the man K two I I think there's a... I think the scoreboard need to shuffle just a little. I think James is the one that, um, let's wait and see for the correction. Oh, they got Trooper still at the crease, but um, Trooper is the one that had been out. So it's um, Porter still there. That one was it down to wide, long off. They get one, they tried for a single. And they were a little short, unable to get that run out. So while the score is um, 206 for four, a look, um, I think there's some um, misunderstanding with the score. We'll still wait on the score scorecard to be updated. So Connor just um, complete his fourth over for 31 runs with three wickets. It's um, Alam always um, continuing. His bowling is um, fourth over. 
Still waiting on the update of the score sheet. Score is 106 for four. At one was played back past the bowler. It gets a single. New batsman is um, is that Roger? Is um, Roger Tracy? Yeah, Roger Tracy. Two hundred and seven for five, and that one played out to mid wicket. That one was a play and run. It was straight to the fielder. Yes, they they made it home, but um, that was risky. 208 for, f for five. Tracy's off the mark. That's another, that's a four there by S. Gale. So the score moves to 2-12 two, two for 5. They are in the 16th over. Gale is in 6, Tracy and 1. And that was the end of the 16th over. 208 for 5. S. Gale and 2 and um, R. Tracy and 1. And while there's a change of bowling, it's um, Rajid who now will be bowling his um, second over. He should be out. Yeah, he's out, run out. I think that was a suicide run. That was a suicide run. And Roger Tracy should blame himself for that. There was no two run. So it's um, not much of an explanation. So 
So Roger Tracy had been out for for two, or should I say two and a half? So it's uh, 212 for 5, World 11. The new batsman is um, Ali. That one was um, hit on the pad. It seems like it was um, just um, going down leg just a little. Umpire, it was a shout for a leg before. Umpire have nothing to do with it, just walked away. Ragu is the bowler. That's another appeal for leg before, umpire says not out. Ooh. So if you're on the road, just stay the way there's um you can hear those sirens just um going down um Oakland Park Boulevard. That one it could run away to the fence. Yes, it's in the fence for four. So Gail moves on to eleven. So it's um, 219 for 6, Royal 11. That was a good ball there by Ragu. I must say kudos to Max Dyer and um, Mr. Ibanks, umpires. Scorer Mr. Paul Mowat, who is on the far side, along with um, David Maitland. The new bowler is um, Riyadh. Came back after his um, first over at cost him um, 24 runs. And it's a buy signal by the umpire. Score moves to 2 2 2 4 6. They are in the 18th over. 
and he bowled him. Get an inside edge and was bowled. So Gale had been bowled. Um, that's that's Ali had been bowled. Scores. So Ali had been bowled for five, five from five balls with um, one four. Two twenty-two for seven. Well, 11, 222 for seven. The new batsman to join Gale is um, Adam Khan. One of the young rising star from South Florida. I thought he would have been in before, but um, obviously, I guess they got plans for him to, he can strengthen up the, the back end. Just came off a well-deserved, um, can I say, tour. That was a good call. That makes sense. Yes, no, yes, no. As they always claim that one, one batter can't run. That one was played down to mid-wicket. There's a man there. It should be just a single, so... Adam is off the mark. I understand that um, Adam Conard went to the academy. That was an easy out. So Gail has been out for seven. Seven from six with one four. So, Royal Eleven had no loss. Their eighth wicket for 223. 223 for eight. After 18 overs. Two overs to go. Let's see how the, the new batsman now. I'll see who is the new batsman here for World 11. So it's um, Ragu will be bowling his um, third over. That uh, one is hit on the pad and a shout for leg before umpire says not out. Two twenty three for eight. Roll eleven. At once they would I thought they would um made over two eighty or so. That one was played back past the bowler. It should be just a single. The new batsman was um, Narushman. Narushman. I guess it's uh, not a youngster who is um, going through the system. 
down the leg and he could be out umpire says not out I think umpire I could stay here and tell but um, I still go with the umpire decision there's no replay so they just have to go with the umpire decision Two twenty-four for eight, Royal Eleven. That one was played in the covers. Uh, and he's out, run out. He's out, run out. So Royal Eleven had lost their ninth wicket for 2.25. Now Rushman has been run out without scoring. So with, um, with nine balls to go, the new batsman is um I'll just wait to see the new the Thompson. fact this is um Odin Odin Thompson Two twenty-five for nine. They're in the nineteenth over. The new batsman is Odain Thompson. By a signals a dead ball. That one was hit on the pad, a shot for leg before umpire says not out. That could be a no ball. Yes, it's signaled by the umpire. So it's a free hit. Adam Kano is in two. Hoping to make use of this free hit. Two twenty five for nine, roll eleven. A swing and he's out caught. You get an outside edge, but it's um, it should be a, it should be a no ball. So it should be a no ball and a free hit so while he was caught it's a free hit so the batsmen were able to continue 227 for nine there in the last over thompson will be the batsman to take strike
That was played down to Long on for a single. Wow, that's a beautiful shot there by Adam Khan. He placed that over the head of the man in the covers. There was no one, no fielder in the deep. And it's rushed to the fence for four. It reminds me of um, Virat Kohli this morning in the IPL. He had scored 115 not out. And that it could be out. There's a man there and he's out caught on the long off boundary. So roll 11 had been surrendered. That's in. In 2.32 all out. 2.32 for 10. And to give you a rundown of the scorecard. Francis, 24. Scott, 138. Vijay, 7. Gale, 14. That's uh, Brian Gale. Four. Brian Gale, 8. Alok, what's the... 14. S. Gale, 7. Tracy, 2. Ali, 6. Adam Khan, six. Narushman, zero. Odin Thompson, one. 20 extras. And that put the score to 232. In the bowling department, Ragu, three over, 33 runs. Raham, not. not Ragnan, one over, 23 runs. Sundaraj, three over, 41 runs. Khan, four over, 31, 31 runs, three wicket. That's Samir Khan. Um, Riyad Mohammed, 2.3 overs, 31 runs, three wickets. Alam, four overs, 39 runs, one wicket. Paidana, Two overs, 25 runs, one wicket. And that sums up the total for the first inning for Royal 11, 232 for 10 in 29.3 overs. We should be back in a short while. Stay tuned, my friends.
So while we getting ready for the the start of the the second half, well, eleven would made two hundred and thirty-two. Guyana is now one for no wicket. Bassman is Escan and um, Balgobin. A swing and a miss. The bowler is um, Ali. That was a good ball there by Ali. Some American plays and miss outside the off stump. Guyana two without loss, two for no wicket. Chasing 232 made by World 11. A very entertaining knock by, by Scott, 132. That one was played down to square of the wicket on the on side. They picked up a single. Guyana moves to three for no wicket. And that's the first over. They're just chasing 232 made by Royal 11. Well, the new bowler is um, Thompson. That one was played square of the wicket. A beautiful shot for four. So that's the first four there for Guyana. They moves to they moves to eight for no wicket. They're the second over.
So the next game coming up will be Trinidad and Tobago and India. one was played down to square leg for a single put the score to nine for no wicket the only th second over That one was it over covers. In defense for four. That's one of those shots you call stand and deliver. The score moves on to 13 by Guyana. Khan is on six. Balgobin on six. That one was just caressed. Screw of the wicket. It picks up an easy single. It's Thompson who's operating. Wow, that was a good ball. And he bowled him. It seems that I just pitched just slight outside the off stump and hit the outside of the of the off stump. So Guyan had lost their first wicket for 14 runs. At the end of the at the end of the second over, Guyana is um, 14 for one. They're chasing 232 made by Royal Eleven.
Yeah, yeah, down and out. Yeah, it's yes, indeed, yes, indeed, pleasant afternoon. I say pleasant good night. It's all about the T20 night league here in Lauder Hill, Florida. Royal 11 here taking on Guyana Royal. Royal 11 comes up with 232. A big, brilliant knock by the man himself, Scott. Made a hundred plus. Made 138 from 49, 49 balls there. That is something, something to talk about. And uh, get his team in a good position here. But I just want to say welcome to all the viewers out there and the listeners. Wherever you are, welcome. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely night for cricket here. Real 11 against Guyana. Second innings here. And you could you could catch us on on-field TV. Bola coming in. Edge. Could try by the third man there. And that one sliced through for four. Take Guyana up to NV play. NV play. That's where you get all the action today, right? Okay, this shot over extra cover. That will race away. Slam into the fence for another four. Nevertheless, Guyana, 25 for one here from 3.2. That one was punch over extra, extra cover there by the man himself. Mr. Mr. Kong from Guyana. That one was a better ball. Could come up by the bowler there. Change of pace. Straight on middle stump. Have Kong jump in for that pace and there's no pace. Got chucked in the body. Umpire saying not out too high. So as you guys know, I'm here tuning in super flex. Number 55, Thompson running in. Shot over extra cover again, and that one looking like it will go for a maximum here. After that great comeback by Thompson there, he went back outside, half stump to um, Kong there, and Kong do what he does. At first, he's, he's just a repeat. Thompson comes in again. That one was a better ball. Yaka length in the black hole. Was digged out by Kong. It's don't seems like Kong having any type of issue here. But in very, very easy. Taking boundaries while they come from the loose ones. And uh, playing the good ball correctly. Like any good cricketer would do. I think it's going to be a new bowler introduced to the attack here. As you could hear in the background, 35 for one after four over completed here in the power play. You know, Guyana is chasing the target of 232. 232. Total, you think they will um, they'll make it? If they keep getting these boundaries like the way Kong like the way Kong is going two three 
Bungie are over, then it's gonna be a close game, Mr. Tuck. Outside half stop, beat the batsman, goes through the keeper. I'm gonna say that's a fair delivery. So I think the bowler introduced to the attack is Narasman. Narasman here. Narasman in left arm. That one was pitch full. And straight on and the batsman flicked it for one here. We get Kong back and strike. Arasman having looked like a bad bowling change so far. He came in so far. Two ball, one runs. Not a bother to the row 11. So he coming in from the southern end. And that one will complete as a wide. That one was two down the leg to the right hander he have to adjust that line that would be a great line to the left hander that he was bowling to early on if he was bowling to the man chan then that's a great length but here to kong ball and he ball well and he push push straight and that will run away that will beat scott there in the mid on region there Beat Scott and uh, <laughs> I think Scott is tired from making that century. I think that's what's going on. What do you think, Mr. Tux? Well, um, that ball was really placed by the good. by the and, batsman. Uh, while Scott had tried to <laughs> reach out, he's tall. He tried to reach out, but he was just punch this one and punch this one well behind square here and that one runs into the boundary for another four as i told you earlier mr tuck if mr kong get majority of this strike and keep getting these boundary after boundary of at least three boundary and over then road 11 will be in trouble i think road 11 have to get rid of that batsman there Let's see how Narashman comes back here. Oh, sh sh strikes and strike well. Don't too long on. Kang is asking for two, but Chan is not interested here. Small portion. Appreciate it. And, um,. 46 for one 4.5 overs flick and flick again and he have to go this time he flicked it right into mid on it was a lollipop it was an easy easy catch from mid on there and What a complete of that over there for Norris, man. Finish with a, with a wicket with 11 off the over. And we will see the buck of Chan. Guyana is fighting, Royal 11 is defending here. What do you think, Mr. Talk, about uh, this game? Um, I think it's kind of too much runs for Guyana. And um, they have a saying in cricket, says um, scoreboard. Pressure. What do they call it? Scoreboard. Pressure. pressure. Okay, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't think scoreboard pressure is bothering the that batsman Mr. Kong though. No, but um, while he may be even getting two fours in every over. Mm -hmm. He need help from the other end. <laughs> That's right. That's correct, but he's going at a 
strike rate 168.42 here so that's not bad if he have someone going to the strike rate at least 150 with him then it will be a game on here yeah but um we just have to shot and no run it's a young team and um i think what is happening right now is um for the Guyana team is like um they're trying to get these um young players um some good experience okay they are having a new team gelling these young players yeah it's a lot of um a lot of these guys are from the academy and um so they're kind of trying to groom them which is good so for them to play with against the experienced guys mm -hmm. then it's a good idea okay i see what you mean yeah i don't expect them to lay down and and play dead but um, yeah they're still um fighting yes i think mr ali is giving kong a bit of a fight here bowling this ball in the pitch back of a length outside half stump here well he punched this one and it will be no run now it's like three ball no run so this bowler basically slowed down Mr. Kong here so let's see what the next three ball will bring here shot well play and I think Scott will stop this one he cut this one off to only a single Yeah, you get a good bounce, so yeah. able to stop that one pretty good. Riley, he comes across real fast. I mean, I say the tall man, he moves swiftly on his feet, so he saved um, four runs. Yes, pretty. Ali here to bowl his fifth ball to the new batsman. Bowls and umpire declare that one is a Y. He's gonna have to reload that one. And the new batsman to the crease is Mr. Alam. Mr. Alam here. Coming in at number four. Ali comes in from the southern end. Full toss misses. And that was a gift. I think if he bowled that to Mr. Kong, it will be somewhere over cover, racing into that boundary or clearing that maximum. But as we know, Alam just came in, trying to get his eyes in. He know his team have a big total, scoreboard pressure. Let's see how he survived this last ball. And he punch and he punch and he come for a single pretty quick as if he really hungry for that next over so let's see how it goes pretty much only two runs from that over so far and i say three runs from that over one wide and two single yeah that's a good over for world 11. that's that's right another another over like this then Guyana will be really in trouble here in trouble. real deep Mr. Tuck that's your uh, drone out here getting the live speed from the middle or no 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 are you working on I can't afford to get a drone while I'm doing this you need, um, <laughs> need some sponsors you, so you, we can you, be able to be a little more flexible you need some employees too yeah, we gotta get his answers. Then get the employee. <laughs> okay. So from the southern end, you got Narsman running, and he bowl, and he was flick for a single here in the in the Kalkana region. And Guyana is just batting like it's a practice day for them. No aggression, nothing chasing this high total, huh? Now there is some aggression from Mr. Kang. He pulls behind screen, he pulls well. All the way for six. 
And Mr. Kong is on a roll here whenever he get a bad ball. Only thing is missing in his innings is another batsman with the capability and qualities of his here. I think whoever is flying that drone is um, kind of um, disturbing. Disturbing. And that one would be a wide the bowler would have to reload. So now what's going on here is when he goes to Mr. Kong body, he pulls him and pulls them comfortable. Now he's hiding outside half stump, way outside half stump, and taking the pace off. So let's see how Mr. Kong handled that delivery there. Outside half stump, punch and punch well. And I think that one will bounce and that one will be stopped by the long off feeler here. And um, just, this is where we only get one. I would just conceive one runs there. Nice yes, one comes in to Alan. Alan punch and they come for one and I think they will try to come for two but you don't want to mess with the arms of Scott. Look at that. Look at that return show there. From the man himself. Get a hundred runs today. Brilliant knock by Mr. Scott today I must say. He been, he been on some form of lately. He been scoring, um, he been scoring some, making some good scores, um, especially in the in the T20 games. The T10. T10, yeah, the T10. That's right. For, and we got that um, big day tomorrow, where there's like um, four games playing right here. Yes, I'm aware of that, Mr. Tuck. Um, you got the... And, wow. and that's it. Mr. Kong, we will see the buck of him now. And that's a catch by the player manager there, Roger Chasey. And, um, catch him in an area where he been getting some runs. I think Mr. Kong tried to use that area a little bit too much and they they set him up. I, I think that's what happened. I think the plan was take the pace off, goes back into his body with the pace off and see if he could clear the boundary with the pace off and the plans work for the Royal Eleven here. And he, what had happened is the ball was much fuller. That's what I'm saying. Fuller with the pace off, no bump, no, no nothing coming on pull height. So with that being said, I show you the the Royal Eleven team is on cue and playing with a plan here, and they are working and sticking by it, and it's it, it's it's working here, Mr. Tuck. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Um, the bowling um, really comes in its own, mm -hmm. and, um, and I think now they will even put more pressure here on Guyana. They introduced the leg spinner, Adam, and that was a dot ball by Adam there. Mr. Adam Kang. Is is introduced and punch punch there to Trooper right there in a uh, cover for no run. Adam Khan coming in from the southern end, bowl and bowl well, punch and it was in the air for a moment, but right back to Trooper there in uh, cover. Like I said, this is gonna be. A tough over for Guyana. Punch. Dog me dog for one runs here. And that will introduce the new batsman. 
to the strike. Rango. Rango go first ball trying to slug sweep Adam Kong from outside half stamp. I don't think that's a good idea against the leg idea. spin here. Could have been a top edge, could have been could have been everything all bad. <laughs> and Rango again. Slugs and he slugs well. He won't find the gap there. Fila come around and retrieve it back to Adam and that will be a over. That just can see the, I think, three runs. Yeah, Guyana is um, getting deeper and deeper in the hole. Deeper and deeper in the hole, but Mr. Rangu, Mr. Rangu, I like his approach here. He's trying to go from ball one, like he's given the attitude that he know what needed to be done, you know? And um, of course, it will be Norris Mann coming back from the southern end over number nine here. Ball full and he full and he push and he push, and that was fielded well by the point fielder there for no run. Okay, okay, okay. You could hear Scott from the long arm bungee cheering. That was pitch outside half stump and swings back into the right under. I think that one was close, but on the line or inside the line, that was a dot ball. Yeah, the ball is doing very good. Um, they're bowling, they're pitching the ball up outside the half stump and um, beating the... That was punched down to long off. And only for one runs here. So after 8.3, Guyana is only at 61. 62. For three wicket. Punch and punch well, and they will come for one here. A long off. We'll receive it and get it back into the bowler. So Guyana is required 171 off 11 over. What do you think here, Mr. Tuck? Only if you are. Only if you were about him. That one was pull from outside half stump and was pulled all the way over Carl Conifer. A maximum here. Like I said earlier, I like Mr. Rangu uh, approach to the crease. Yeah, he, he he's in yeah, he's in a no nonsense mood. He's reminding me of Mr. Kong here. I think the Guyanese sh team should have sent him a bit earlier to bat with Mr. Khan. What do you think? Well, um, I think where he is, it's um, pretty balanced. Yeah, it's make it pretty balanced because um, I've seen some of the guys that um, were, were there. They seem like punch they and punch over point, and I think that one will run away for a boundary here. And it is a boundary. And nevertheless, Guyana is, Guyana is up in the 70s for three after nine over. Adam is back. Adam Kang is back into the attack. And Adam Kang was taken away for six more over in the Kalkana region. These two batsmen here. 
is playing like they have hopes. Punch again and that they will come for one here. Go straight to the captain troop trooper there. And he will I know he will not misfeel that. So after 9.3, the score is 80 runs for three wicket. Guyana is on the charge here. Slug sweep again. And that one was bowled off the pitch. Now I think Adam Kang is hiding it outside half stump. Now he's scared of that slug sweep going close, anywhere close to that batsman there. Adam Kang don't need and don't want any of that no more. And I think Mr. Rangu is just sweeping a bit too quick there. He need to keep her eyes on it. Kind of unusual the way you, the right hander, mm -hmm. slug sweep, a leg spinner, especially bo bowling outside the off stop. Oh, and that is a top edge, and that's what we're talking about. That will jump into no man lands, and they will come back for a second run, and it will be a clean two run here. Now I think the Guyanese is putting back a little bit of pressure back onto the Royal Eleven team, Mr. Tuck. What do you think? I could say yes, but at the same time, they still have a long way to go. I know it's a mountain to climb, but you know it's cricket. It's never over until it's over. I know, but um, this fat lady, I mean, I don't know if she's going to sing tonight. You never know, listen. <laughs> Oh, and Mr. Rangu decided to ease up pressure off Adam Kong there, but it doesn't seem like that's his type of game. Uh, my advice to him would would tell him, goes back to what you was doing. It's either it's go or. Let's see. Yeah, they, they, what's the, let's see. Let's see. 83 for three rickets here after 10 over. Guyana is on. Is is trying to diff, is trying to get this runs here. Comment run rate is eight point three. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Last five over, thirty seven runs, one wicket. Current run rate eight point three zero. Over remaining is ten overs and the target is two thirty three. It's a lot of runs for them to to catch up on. Guyana 83 for 3 after 10. Chasing 232 made by Royal 11. That's a a huge score. They still need 150 off 10. 15 runs per over. It's not impossible, but um, you got to be striking the ball real good. So, so Guyana need at least 15 runs and up and over here to get anywhere close to even feel like they're they're going to win this one was beating outside off stump there by the bowler Gale Gales comes in from the northern end and just joined up and was hit down to call corner and they will only get a single here So the bowler girl is exposed to the attack here from the northern end. It is half spin and it's in the air and this will be an easy dismissal here for Alam. The Royal Eleven will see the back of Alam here. That was an easy catch there.
So tomorrow we are going to be back at the park. Also there's another game coming up here. After, right after this one. So stay tuned in, you know. Live broadcast here on field from Superflex and Mr. Tux. Mr. Tux and myself. So Mr. Mohammed is to the crease and Mohammed tried to go as big first ball. Have no clue what's bowling, what's going on. He just know the requirement is high. And he have to go right back. He doesn't shovel the score and he was bold. So Guyana is requiring another 149 from 55 balls, which that will be 16 plus runs and over here for the loss of five wicket in the 11th over. From the looks of things here, the rift test is in, and Adam Kong will continue his spell from the northern end here. It was punch. They will come for one runs because of sloppy feelings he feeling here. Adam Kong coming in from the northern end. And umpire declare he just overstepped. And that's a no ball. That will be a free hit. The first free hit of the innings. Let's see what the Guyanese team will make of this. And they will make nothing of it. Missed out on a free hit. It's not a good look here for the Guyanese team. Adam Kong comes in. Try the slug sweep and have no luck here. The left handed batsman to the leg spinner. Should have been easy pickings here, but no luck so far. Barely get some bat on it and they will come for one runs and the keeper will chase. And that will conclude only one runs. Adam Kong comes in to bowl to the right on there. And it's a swing and a miss. Yeah. That was an opportunity for a catch, but Adam Khan didn't hold on or even get close to it. What's in there?
By the looks of things here, 80, 88 for 5 after 12 hours. That one will go far, far, 6, 7, 8, 12 rows back in the grandstand. So it's not over until it's over. And we will have a new ball to continue here. One goes so far. So I'm by out provide a new ball. And this one miss a miss hit here. Come on, Alan. And that's another edge. And it will be a long chase here. And the ball will win that chase. From the third man there. So pretty, pretty, pretty fast outfield. Mr. Thompson will not win that chase. We will not cut that one off. Not. This one is high in the air, and we'll feel it cycling on it, and it was taken. That's the end of Alam. Score is 98 for 6 here. Um, Guyana need another 100 and... Gail comes into ball. And that's in the air and that will be a lollipop here to Thompson. Thompson take it. Happily take that catch there. And now it seems like it's a landslide for the Guyana team. Every batsman come. Why do they call it landslide and it's wickets going down? <laughs> yes. The Guyana team has been affected by the Royal Eleven like that earthquake in New York. <laughs> Yeah man. Yeah man, there yeah, man. Ah. Um, friends, I did mention about the earthquake yeah. in New York. I heard it on the news, and they said both New York and a little in New Jersey. Um, have you heard anything else about it? Um, because they said at, at the time when I heard they said nothing they haven't come across any damage or so but have you heard of any damage anywhere? No I haven't heard of any big damage because um, 
Sometimes you have to consider with all those um what should you tell when you are buying you be my careful do you can buy that was a dot ball there. Yo, yeah, sweet. Oh, good. Then I want to come in she box here. Yeah. Oh, Adam can ball and ball well. And that one was slug and that will go miles and miles. That will go 36 rows back in the grandstand. Yeah. Yeah, did. Yum. An another swing and a miss here. And that one was hit. And hit well, and the feeler comes in, but he missed feel. <laughs> and luckily here, he retrieved it, and they only got two runs, right, Mr. Tuck? Yeah, just two. But I would also like um, to remind all the viewers and listeners that um, there will be another game coming up just after this. You got Pakistan will be going up against um, Trinidad and Tobago. No, Dwayne Bravo won't be playing. He retired. <laughs> but, um, Trinidad and Tobago will be up against um, Pakistan and Yunus Khan won't be playing either. He retired. As, <laughs> but as you say that, Mr. Tuck, you might need to let him know Pollard won't be representing tonight as we all, a lot of people know he represent before right here in the sport. Sport Park in Fort Lauderdale for the Trinidad team. I actually got the opportunity to bowl to him. Um, talking about um, push and push back to the bowler here. Um, ain't for no supposed run. to be in the World Cup. He's supposed to be with England. I know they was trying to get Darren Sami, but I'm not sure about Paul. Oh, Darren Sami for Pakistan. Oh yeah, that oh, was for, yeah, Pakistan. for Pakistan. Yes, yes, that's but, that's um, correct. Um, Pollard. Yeah, Pollard supposed to be on the on the um, English. Um, I don't know. If, I don't think it's. Um, I don't think it's just. Um, that was another miss hit there by the man. Sunder oh. rugs. We must, we must welcome the man himself, Mr. English, in the commentary box here. And that's like three, four swing and miss, Mr. English. What do you think here, the equation for Guyana? What do you think Guyana should be doing at this moment here well, at the minute try to get a better net run rate at the minute though the condition and the the, the, the the nature and the context of the game it's it's what we say impossible at the minute but nevertheless they're at 106 at least get to a respectable total of 140 plus 150 to get their net run rate yeah i'm thinking 32 balls to go at least knock another 60 70 60, runs 70 run. that, that would be a great thing but you look at the batting to come, it's, it's not very likely. And that one will race and just race straight to the feeler for only one. Yeah, pitching and uh, sh pitching about middle stump, the batsman swung across the line to a deep mid wicket area. It was only too able to go through for a single. Pretty risky shot, though, Mr. English. At this, at this stage of the game, you, you, you really want to, to, to go at everything. <laughs> so we can understand that the desperation of the batting, the batsman. Yes, I, I agree. I agree. So, not a, not a very good uh, tournament this year for the US All Star. What's the, what's the, what's the, the we could have an interview after the game, Mr. English. <laughs> if, Absolutely. if you're interested, well, in the day it's cricket and you know it's played on the given day, and the, the better team will come out on top. And that's high in the air. Roger Tracy running around, two man converted down to mid wicket. Just in the, the middle of both fielders, and the batting team was able to scramble through for an easy single there, Superflex. Yes, but back to you and uh, 
the US team here. Um, yes, they haven't been a great start for us, for uh, a team that went to final last season. You know, but T10, T20, two different. Yeah, two different format, and they're, they're, they've been missing quite a few of the key players that they had last year. And the, 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 I feel like the, the, the gel that they had in the team last year it just wasn't there. But you know, nevertheless, US has a, a, a wonderful team, a wonderful operation in terms of Patrick Samuel, one of the, the great managers here in South Florida. I, I must commend him for, for his work and his dedication towards his team and the effort that he put in. And back to live action there, boy, that was swung down to. A back with a square, square for six. For six runs. Wonderful shot. Yes, Mr. English. Um, we don't have uh, some of our key players, but when you check the ratio, we still have a, a competitive team, and um, we can, we can, we we can compete. We can compete. We, we we need to just the, get it together. The, the team that you have with your likes of yourself and the likes of Damien Rowe disrupt hey. players and back to live action another one he over deep wicket game. for another six so we did mention a quick 60 70 runs it, it's looking at cricket game. very impossible at the minute the, the way the batsman is mm -hmm. going at at the moment uh, strike rate way over 170 okay. yes i think they are they, they what they're doing here is uh taking whatever they could get and um the captain, captain himself is here bowling, Mr. English. You don't think he should be bowling a bit tidier, a bit tighter here? Hey, we, know, we know what the man himself, Trooper Brian Gill, is capable of doing here. A, a very experienced, not just here in South Florida, but in America. And, and all the, the leagues that he has represented, Jamaica as well. A, a quality, a class act player. And, um, you know, this is T20 and it's a dying moment so anything can happen and you know, he just <laughs> want to get over the line and, and get a, a beautiful run rate for his team but mm -hmm. the batting team has a, has a different objective, a different plan. And I must say the guy on the team have a bit of fight in them here. Absolutely, they have a very young squad and that's why I must comment about Guyana. They have a very young bunch of lads working with. Mm -hmm. I think the future looks bright for Think. Guyana cricket yes. here in America and at large, South Florida. And um, if they keep these youngsters the right groom and the right condition, who knows? I've, yes. I've seen quite a few very good bowlers in the team that potentially could have gone on to represent the US. I've seen a 16-year-old on the team, the left arm seamer, really, really good bowler. Once he gets the, the right mm -hmm. training and the right, the fundamental of a cricket and the, the, the right guidelines, he will be successful. Yes. <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah. So the, after so bring it back it could be a fuse it's 124 for the last of seven you hear me 11 they have made a, a beautiful 232 i say bring uh, back Scott, bring it back then to the story could be a fuse 137 26 is in his in his innings uh, a master yeah. class of, of, of innings from the man himself anthony scott we, we know devastating yeah if, and if you buy them it's not it just here so return far, it and he's shown it throughout the years um, what he's capable of doing and tonight was no short of action fuse fuse demolishing he was at the top of the innings for the run 11. i think roger tracy the manager staff he's playing tonight uh manager john lewis are the are uh, the getting this team gelling well together yeah are the um the pigtail another wicket went down there Diana loses another wicket at 125 for 7 after 16 by huh? 3 overs. They're replying to a massive total set by Rune 11, uh, 232. Oh, hold on. Two thirty two set by Rural Eleven. We were talking earlier about the youngsters. I beg your pardon. Eight wickets for 125 after 16.4, chasing at 232 for victory. Highly impossible. Just playing for pride at the minute, Guyana. And last flip top in the air, and they should be taking another wicket. It's down. 
Another one by the that's 125 for the last uh, nine, 16.5. And he's on the hat trick. Gale has gotten another one. He is bowling pretty economical tonight. He has really get the ball to, to bounce and turn and, and getting the ball in the right area. And we are watching night cricket here at the Lada Hill Sports Complex. Next game, Trinidad and Tobago versus India. A very big clash here tonight highly anticipated game and only a matter of time before that get that game get on the way it's 125 for the last of nine wicket one delivery to complete over number 17 he's on a hat trick Two slips. Drive on that leading edge, running down to deep third man. They should try to come back for two. And they have done so quite successfully. What a hat trick delivery that was. Batsman ball pitched up outside the line of the off stump. Batsman flashing drive, just flying past the second slip. Just inches away there, Sir Tucker. Just inches away. That's how close you come to uh, to get the hat-trick. Maybe it's the first hat-trick in his um, cricketing career. But he, he missed it. Not because of the fielder, but because of um, the batsman get a thick hedge. And you look at the figure of the man, Brian. Yes, isn't it, Brian? Senate gear, sorry, I beg your pardon. He's bowling three overs, three wickets, no maiden, six wickets, sorry, I beg your pardon, four overs, no maiden, six wickets for 16 runs. What else can you ask for in a T20 encounter? Six for 16. Beautiful economic, just four runs and over. Uh, the other end, Brian Gale, he's gone for 16 from his first. There seems to be a change of bowling. Bassman flashing drive through backward point. What a shot! Shot of the afternoon, one would say. That was a beautiful cover drive. <laughs> Wouldn't say cover drive, but beautiful drive. Flashing through backward point for four runs. Total moves on to 131 for the last uh, nine wicket. One thing I must say, the spinning, the spin unit for Red 11 looks really good, but the pace attack, uh, they, they have a lot to work to do. They're going to face a team such as Jamaica, who we know a destructive Jamaica can be. The likes of Omar Williams, Sinan Matu. We'll sort of player will demolish and he sort of oh that's a beautiful drifter for delivery pitching outside the line of the half so I'm swinging back into the right hander no connection the man is back in the commentary box super flex himself so English how much you think Guyana could get here from these 16 these 14 balls to go it's just a matter of time. I'm <laughs> saying before the, the, oh, that's another punch and beauty. punch, beauty true point and cover right there. I don't think the Royal Eleven is here to set this field properly. I don't think so. But the young man, the young man, is <laughs> in absolutely magnificent form, and that's one of the shot of the afternoon super flex. Yes. Beautiful yes. Drive. Yes. Running through backward points and cover. What a shot that was. Sun Sundaraj, that's his name. Absolutely elegant. And um, I'm 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 loving this from this young kid here. And that's what I mentioned earlier about the youngsters that they have in the team that potentially could go, go on to play for the United States of America. Slashes again outside the half stop. Misses that one super flex. That was a gifter though. That was a slower ball. Um outside half stop going away from the right hand and um 
the man himself Ali is a very 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 smart bowler I see earlier in his uh, spell he had um, Mr. Adam uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Kang pretty weak yeah very 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 tricky campaigner yes like yes he is oh, punch and punch try. well to Raja Chasey and Raja Chasey spill that one there <laughs> He's a man he's a manager slash player here. And we've seen the farm that he has been in the T ten tournament. Absolutely magnificent. Yes, tomorrow will be a big day in the T ten tournament viewers. At the same venue here, it's going to be nothing short of excitement. Beautiful cricket. So make sure you guys tune into Elton Tucker um channel. What channel would it be uh, broadcasting on tomorrow? It will be TVN, TVN Cricket TVN Power Play. Play. Today we are on Unfield, right? And, 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 it, and it's one of the biggest channels here in the, in the South Florida area. And the man has been doing a tremendous... Fantastic, I would say, work English. In terms of covering cricket here in South Florida. And I, and I must give Mr. Ian to... Ian Thomas. Yes. Absolutely. What a ball here from... What a ball here. Drifting back in a little late movement into the right hand of Superflex. Great condition, overcast. Sky is getting a little bit dusty. Ball moving around in the air. And it should be a beautiful encounter the next game. Punch. Sky again, down to a back corner point there. And he turned back the non striker. Who is that man retrieving the ball right there, Mr. English, in the red hat? Adam Khan. No. Oh, that's uh, one of the players coming out of uh, Orlando. Very destructive player. Oh, okay. He's only got 14 runs today, but he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's one to look out for. I'll get his name in just a second. I'll let you know. The man himself. Sean Francis. That's the man. Only able to get 24 off 12. So Naras man here will bolt, will, will complete the 19 over. So far, four four ball to go. Full pull, push, push, and push well down to. Why this long on? Yeah, and Chupa. I think that was supposed to be Chupa picked up, but he's so comfortable in this contest here. <laughs> he just let it go down to one. Yeah, it's like that. Say, come on, we're in the driving seat. What's going on, Let him get another single. But the day it's cricket, and we know. Punch, and they call is for one. And like I said, the captain is just cruising. And you know, leadership at the best right here tonight. And he's just. And he's giving a lot of instruction here, telling telling his team, listen. I think he's sending a message to the Jamaica team. <laughs> to show that he's very relaxed and he's very composed. He's very. He's not worried about <laughs> what's to come next week. Even though the Englishman won't be here because he has his tournaments in Jamaica. And that's uh, April, April 20th. 28th. 28th. At the Snow Hill Community Center. And you must know that it's Portland. And I'm, 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 I'm not happy about not being in there for that tournament. I heard last year was a big, great success and. I wanted to be a part of that, but I had a lot of other engagement in Jamaica earlier this year. And well, we do understand this is America, and you know, it, it, uh, bills come first, and you know, a lot, a lot of things we take care of. We can't just get up and move. But I, I must say, the South Florida, I really tremendously appreciate appreciate the support that I've received over the last three years of the tournament. That I've, you know, I, I must say, South Florida Cricket Alliance, mm -hmm. put my hats off to the support. Yes, and that one was punch and punch well down to the sweeper here for one. These two batters are showing that they're not giving up. But back to the tournament, Superflex has been nothing short of excitement in Jamaica, and, and the youths really appreciate the, the gesture that's you know been given back to the community. Yes. And, um, this year is going to be nothing short of excitement and lots of new teams and. Plus. Price is it's gone up a hundred thousand this year, and you know we're giving back to the to the youth, to the community, the, the parish of Portland. So, and the young cricketers, Absolutely. I see you're very interested in young talent. And 
you know, growing up in Jamaica, you and myself, you know, we've seen the struggle in terms of getting support and the gears and, and, and stuff like that. So we yes. try our best to accommodate these lads to the best of our ability and do what we can. Yes, I, I agree. I remember going to school and we, 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 we used to walk on the field with no bat and we use the same bat, One same bat tips team, 11, and 11, 11 players using the same bat and same tips and no no grips on the bats and, and, and you know, it's, 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 it was rough but that, that, that's what made us appreciate the game more and appreciate and the passion for it and um i remember we hit one ball we would search for it all day yes <laughs> we didn't find it that day we'll go back tomorrow and, and we'll find try it to retrieve that ball we don't have much so we're getting down to the wire here where Guyana just seems like they are just going to conceive only 140 in their 20 over session and um I'm back to where they were at the, 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 the initial start of the innings so they, they really fight back at the back end of the innings they could have posted a more respect to the total so you, day, you think score put on by the Royal 11 team yes I must I must I must I must stop that there yes the Royal 11 did a good score and I must say I must say a good knock to the man Scott, you know, and um, you think the guy needs to take a bit of shame out their eyes here? <laughs> or you think it's it's still not looking good here? They they lost by a hundred and actually they lost by like 92 runs here. Yes, viewers and subscribers, yes. All the viewers out there, don't go nowhere. There's another game coming up right here, right here on field. We will be coming in live. I promise you, give us at least 10, the most 15 minutes. We will be back live. Live coverage coming to you here from Fort Lauderdale. Over by the sports parks in Lauder Hill, Florida. You're getting live commentary here from Superflex in English and the man himself, Mr. Tucker. So, I must say big up y'all self out there. It's a great night for cricket. It's pretty windy, getting a bit chilly out here. So if you're not here yet and you're planning on coming out here, grab a, grab a jacket while you're at it. So, yeah. Royal 11 took this one by 90 runs. That's a big win there for the team Royal 11. And um, we will be back, Mr. Tuck, in around 15 minutes or 10. Okay, in like 10 minutes. It's approximately 7.22 here local time. I would say 7.30 start. Okay guys, we'll be back in uh, eight minutes. Uh, and um, it will be live, so hang out, grab a, bit, grab a bite, grab a drink, and get back to your TV screen or phone screen, computer screen, tablet, whatever you getting it live here on YouTube, you know? on field the stadium is getting packed and i think next game should be an, a, another exciting contest india versus trinidad so let's see S see you guys soon